Okay, right now we're about to attach the esophagus to the neck, and we also need to attach the skull to the um, vertebrae, so it should look like this. Tape the tab that's on the top of this right here, tape it behind the previous skull um, so that you attached. Now you can add your cute little face by just folding the flap behind the skeleton and gluing it down. Use an X-Acto knife or a pair of scissors to open the doors on the small intestines and the stomach. Then you want to use a drop or two of glue on the back side of the small intestines to attach the villi and a couple of drops of glue on the tabs to attach the mucus glands to the back of the stomach. Glue the end of the esophagus underneath point one of the stomach. Glue point number two of the stomach to the top end of the small intestine, right here. Now take the colon, or the large intestine, and attach it at tab three the bottom, to the bottom of the small intestine. Now things are starting to get filled up in here and it's not going to lay flat like we think it should. It's not flat Stanley, so it's going to be bulging outward just like in our normal bodies. There's going to be some dimension to it, so it's okay for things to have some space in between them. Now we're going to create the excretory system which consists of the kidneys, the ureters, the bladder, and the urethra. Now you'll need to gently lift all of the intestines and lay them back over the face area so that you have an open area to work with for a little while. And you want to take and put a drop of glue on the back of each kidney and gently tap them down to the lower ribs pretty close to the vertebrae. Make sure the lower uh, part of the pelvis, the opening has been cut out right in here uh, with an X-Acto knife or your scissors and then you're going to take the urethra and slide it down behind the pubic bone so that it goes behind it so it, it looks like it is in your body. Add a drop of glue behind this area and stick the urethra to the back of the pubic bone. This is the pancreas, and the pancreas is what makes the insulin to help uh, keep our body balanced with the amount of sugar that's in our bloodstream. Um, take it out, and it's, it lies pretty close to the back of our body, and so we're going to take it and we're going to attach it to the uh, vertebrae. Put a dot of glue on the back of it, and then tap it to the vertebrae here. And it can go in front of the kidneys. I just got that one slid behind the kidneys. But it, it should actually be in front of the kidneys there. Now it's time to pull those intestines down. And you want to get the end of the large intestine, which is called the rectum. And you want to slide it down behind the bladder. Because in the human body, the bladder is in front of our uh, rectum and we want to position those in the correct order. Now we're going to slide the rectum down behind the bladder and behind the urethra and put a dot of glue on it and then attach it behind the pubic bone to the urethra. That little flap that's sticking up on the top of the bladder you can fold it backwards and put a dot of glue on it and then tap it back onto the rectum. 
Now comes the part that takes a little bit of dexterity um, because you have to get it wrapped around the esophagus and tape this diaphragm back closed. So the first thing you want to do is to split the back of the diaphragm and open up that hole. Now wrap it around the esophagus and then use a little piece of tape to just tape behind the esophagus right back here. Don't attach it to the esophagus though. Now pick up your two lungs and the bronchial tubes and we're going to assemble the respiratory system. So as you see we've got the left lung glaze on top of the bronchial tubes and the right lung is underneath the bronchial tubes. Put just a little bit of glue to attach these on both sides. Fold the little flap that's at the top of the voice box down and you want to attach it right on top of the esophagus. Then pull it back and I want you to find the little tabs that are at the top of the lungs. You want to fold those back and put a dot of glue on each of the tabs and just tap them back to the ribs so that they kind of stay in place there should look a lot like this. And this. On the end of the diaphragm there are two flaps. One right there, one right there. You want to fold those back and wrap them around the bottom of the rib cage of the back. So they, they match up just exactly. This is going to attach to this and then you're just going to glue those into place. This is the liver. Take and put one drop of glue right there on the top of the liver. And slip it underneath the diaphragm just a little bit until you can get the glue to attach underneath the diaphragm. This is on the right hand side of the body. Now we've come to the heart of the matter. That is our last organ. So take the heart and there's a flap at the bottom. You want to fold that flap backwards and put a drop of glue on it. You should see a little bit of your diaphragm showing between your lungs and you want to attach that little flap right to that little piece of diagram that you can see between the lungs. If you want to put a little dot of glue at the top of the heart behind it and then tap it back to the bronchial tube area that would help keep it from falling forward. Oh my goodness we're finally finished and now you need to dress your uh, skeleton up. Try not to cover your organs and your um, parts of your body that I can so I can grade them but you can make it creative hats, glasses, capes, um, some sports things that you like. Just make it your fun personality.